Now an 800-pound Mars probe is sending signals nearly 34 million miles to NASA. The InSight lander touched down on the red planet today. KPI X5's Wilson Walker shows us that space now comes with a little more competition and showmanship. Big day in the world of space exploration. We're going back to Mars, right about here to be exact, catching a ride with NASA. Touchdown confirmed. <laughs> Packed house at the Chabot Space and Science Center for the InSight landing, an event NASA invited the entire world to watch. Uh, everyone has seen uh, Elon Musk's SpaceX landing rockets on floating barges in the ocean. So there's a new sort of premium on being able to show people what you're doing. Tim Fernholtz is author of Rocket Billionaires. He says the showmanship we have seen from private aerospace doesn't just create competition for NASA. Remember, if you're SpaceX, NASA is also your biggest customer. Now NASA has a competitor and a partner in its own backyard, and it's been a collaborative friction and I think a catalyst for new things. So not so much public versus private, more of a partnership with competitive aspirations. I think everyone at NASA knows that if they don't plan a mission to Mars or build a huge space station, Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos in the coming decades will. But while technology is moving this industry ahead very quickly, it does not mean that it will necessarily meet our expectations. You know, people imagined in the 1980s we'd be flying 100 space shuttles every year. We would have international, you know, space habitats. We'd have a moon base. Yeah, that's the funny thing about the future. Kind of hard to pin down. Like, the people who drew up these scenes would have been blown away by these smartphones that broadcast today's landing. So the future of space exploration, not always the way we imagine it might be. In Oakland, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.